Hey everyone, welcome to Alvin's Vehicles. So uh, here I've got all the eight teams that are competing today, including the track buffer. I had to break off the back wheel because it was still too fast even uh, after it being a 10 cent car. So yeah. And I couldn't find the roof for chicane, so it's going to go topless. And it didn't help him after all. So yeah, cars are going to hit the track buffer, drive. If they're the first car, they will hit the track buffer, drive down. And you have to survive to move on to the next round. The last few cars standing are the winners. Last team standing is the winner, I mean. So yeah. Uh, this video, we're just going to do two rounds, so we'll start now. Okay, we've got the track buffer prepared, so three, two, one, we're just going to start it right here. It just slides down here. Now, the Audi Quattro is going down. Two, one, go. Audi Quattro slams into safety rail and that little thing to warn that the safety rail needs to be checked every two rounds is a can has come out now audi's locked in next up it's mercury sable wagon with the rear hatch opening going down with the op hatch open don't know how that helps and just locks it in and puts the Audi Quattro curbside. Well, now let's head up to the hill. Let's see what we have next. Looks like it's this truck that's going down. The right Bestos transporter. Three, two, one, go. Slams in, and the Quattro pushed off the other side instead of this side. Follow this stuff. So, yeah. Now here comes this huge truck. Gotta prepare to make it go down. Prepare for it to go down now. I mean, well, you get the idea. Okay, okay, shouldn't scream. Well, here we, it's got that ramp, so it's dangerous with the fur to free Plymouth. Just slides down and that ramp is actually in the air. Let's see what will turbine time do just slams in and goes underneath well the ramp's dead so uh, yeah up next it's the Audi Quattro whoops what's going on oh yeah that's good Quattro I mean not Quattro Audi all right ways he slides and goes uh curbside well I'm not going to even edit the this part out and Anyways, Corvette's going down. Corvette just takes out that Audi. Sends him upside down. Well, the ramp's not causing any trouble today. Because Turbine Time just lifted it up and off. Here comes the VW Beetle. Just slides it in. Takes out that Corvette and then just goes off the track. Very happy. Here comes Chicane. Chicane just slams in and uh, sort of latches onto turbine time. So that actually might be a good move by Chicane. Now here comes the Matra Rancho for the withering wagons. Ooh, just breaks apart Chicane. The shell goes flying off and the chassis is uh, sideways. So that's probably out. <laughs> but we're probably going to leave the shell on the track. And along with that... Plymouth and now the Matra Rancho's curbside and now we're going to have a heavy metal based car coming down again it's Sterling Sterling slams in and takes out that Matra and now here comes 1970 Dodge Monaco prepare for doom just slams in and uh, part of his own teammate got uh, sheared off well we'll connect it if part of the ramp part is still up right in the end and now i think that monaco tried to back away because he's a bit scared well he, now danger's coming after him be, from behind it's the chevy van Ooh, just slams him off the track 
So yeah, didn't do much even with all that weight. Here comes Pagani Huayra. See this. The slams and the pushes the Chevy van curbs. That's not good. Here comes the 054 GT. Prepare. Chevy van just gets taken. Pagani makes a recovery. Okay. That's a uh, yeah. Here comes the Lotus Erofa. Ooh, it just slams in and takes out that uh, Ford GT. And now, here comes the VW Beetle 4x4. Just slams in and goes curbside. And also, the Ford GT is a... Uh, yeah, just saying. <laughs> it's what got tossed. I don't know when. Probably I wasn't paying attention. But anyways, yeah. And now here comes the Volvo V6. Just slams in and gets off the track. Pushes the Beetle in a bad position. Volvo may be uh, in some danger. But we'll have to see what the Nissan Prairie does. Just slams in. Pushes that Volvo uh, to safety, I guess. The prairie goes curbside. Up next, it's the 08 Dodge Viper SRT10 ACR. Okay, that was a long name. <laughs> I guess. I don't know what to say anymore. He's going now. Ooh, just takes out the prairie and puts it on top of his teammate. That Viper looks deadly. Prairie's upside down. Well, that's crazy. The Beetle, I think, might have shifted to more sideways. It's the 47 Chevy yada 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 car. So, yeah, uh, it's going down now. Slams in and locks it in. It's the Aston Martin V8 Vantads. Bird green car coming down and takes out that Viper. Viper got taken out by a Chevy and a V8 Vantage. How embarrassing. Wait, I think I said that right, right? Anyways, up now it's Bone Shaker. Bone Shaker slams in and takes out that Chevy. So that Vantage is doing a lot of damage. Here comes the Jaguar E-Type. Jaguar slides down and uh, pushes that Vantage. Maybe sideways, I don't know. And then he goes curbside. Well, all three green cars are in some... All the green cars are in some danger, including Matra. It's the now it's the final eight cars, starting with Baja Truck. Just slams in and the slow car, but manages to take out that E-Type and then roll back over. Good stunt by that truck. Here comes the, now here comes the 71 Datsun Bluebird 510 Wagon. Just slams under that bone shaker and nearly pushes that Viper upright. Viper somehow balanced like in a position that's sideways enough, but somehow does it. Big hit coming from the Routemaster bus. Whoa, that was a slow hit from that bus, and now the Viper's nearly recovered. Okay, only a good thing happened. Well, that tr bus is a uh, huge, just saying. So, yeah. Here comes the Dodge Viper. Just slams and can't get under that bus. He's got those blue thingies to keep cars from going under. The, now it's the 09 Ford F-150. Just slams in and pushes the Viper in on his face somehow. It's like there's a wall of Ratmaster and then the F-150 just pushes it. <laughs> the Viper just on its face. That's just weird. 
Now it's the Lotus Esprit. Lotus Esprit slams in, and uh, the Viper tries to make a recovery, but doesn't end well. Nothing's actually happening up front because that bus is uh, there. So yeah. Twin Mail is up now. Okay, sliding down. And pushes in, and uh, the Viper slides down a bit. Maybe still sideways? Nissan sort of kind of moves. The Viper's kind of... Twin Mail backs off, I mean. Final car of the round is another beetle. He will probably do better than the other one. I don't know. Ooh, and just slams in and nearly gets Twin Mill underneath the Esprit. He's just buddying up with Twin Mill, and that was the final car of the round, I guess. Okay, now time to see how many losses for each team. Now. We'll be right back. Just noticed that the head of the truck uh, just got pushed onto his own bed. Just saying. It's funny. Anyways, uh, here's the result. Withering Wagons lost one. City Cruisers lost one. I don't know if I changed the name or Mopar lost one. Coffee Cruisers lost one. Rally Rammers lost two. Uh, tr the Trucks lost two. Euro Exotics lost two. And, uh... The, uh, original castings lost two? I don't remember what this team is called. I'll just go with original cast. Anyways, we're going to start off again with this track buffer starting right there. So here's the results. Mm-hmm. Yes. Up first, it's the Mercury Sibo Wagon. Okay, he's going down now. Oh, just slams in and takes out that buffer, puts it at a pile of old cars. Okay, well, that's pretty much... And I think he actually broke the safety rail. Please stand by. The thing just got fixed, and I think we didn't even move the mercury at all. Two parts of stuff are still on the track, so that's it. Now we've got this huge truck coming down. Ooh, just slams into the mercury and, uh, can't do much. Just stays, uh, locked in. And he's got a tiny ramp at the back. Let's see what he, it can do here. But here comes another ramp, the, uh, the transporter. Just slides down, and this time the ramp actually works. So, yeah, <laughs> I don't know what to say. Anyways, up now it's the 62 VW Beetle. There's still two in the match. Goes down and flies off the back of the bend and drives off this Raybesto's truck and ends up sideways near the pile of cars. I guess it'll probably be canned after the end. Mercury get, got hit a bit. Yeah, but it doesn't affect anything. Anyways, now up it's the Audi Quattro. He just flies off and skitters along and then actually lands in front of the truck. Great move by the that Quattro. Even though he's sideways, he's way in front. So, doubt he'll get pushed over or something like that. Nah, it won't happen. Up oh, now it's turbine time. Turbine time flies off the jump and uh, actually lands it too. Even though he has one wheel at the side of the track and somehow could squeeze next to the Raybesto's truck. So no damage by that by that truck even though there was a ramp from it. And only to the VW Beetle. Pagani Fire is up now. Pagani flies and also drives again to up the Raybesto's truck and the like the Beetle lands upside down. Okay, this is now starting to get ter more worse. It's bone shaker time now. Ooh, bone shaker fly for all the cars and the manages to land squarely right inside this safety spot. Amazing job at bone shaker and somehow knocked that crystal uh, onto the middle of the track. <laughs> bone shaker. 
Amazing. Thumbs up. Up next is the Volvo V60. Volvo drives off of all the cars and lands upright. Wow, a lot of cars are having good luck with this ramp, even though it's deadly. Wow. Sterling up now. Sterling flies over all the cars and is a bit top heavy. So, uh, goes over sideways. I don't know if he's heavier than that Quattro, but oh well. Sad for Sterling. Now it's the 1978 Dodge Monaco Police. Who just skitters over all the cars and lands upside down. And, but might have just pushed Sterling to safety. Okay, maybe not, but, uh, he's starting to recover. Lotus Europa. Lotus skitters over all the cars and the, goes upside down at the pile. So, uh, yeah. Bad luck with the ramp for coffee cruisers, I guess. Baja truck up now. Baja truck flies off the back of the truck, the other transporter, and goes sideways. Sad. Ford F-150 up now. Ooh, Ford kind of does a wheelie on top of the trucks, those semis, and uh, lands kind of upright. Well, one knock over there will probably tell us if he's upright or not. It's going to be done by the Lotus Esprit. Only car left for his team. The Lotus flies off and breaks a part off that transporter, but it, the part's upright, so uh, yeah. It'll survive, but the Lotus makes a good recovery on the bumpy surface of that turbine time. Good job. Twin Mill now. Twin Mill still flies off the back of the ramp, but ends up upright. Now the ramp's kind of lifted up into the air. So yeah, I think it's because the truck's curbside and it's starting to break. Oh well. What? See if cars still fly by seeing if the Datsun flies. Ooh, the Datsun just breaks to the ramp and flips one of the parts off. And uh, yeah, that truck is looking pretty vulnerable. Let's just say. Well, there's still a part to protect the Datsun, but that's funny. Route Master bus up now. Oh, slow hit, and yep, that truck looks pretty sideways. Well, the Datsun makes, get, just gets off. Near. Will the venomous Viper get revenge? Viper slams in and pu somehow pushes the Routemaster bus to what's left of his teammate. Bus, the bus is in some trouble. Viper backs off. Final car of the round, 62 VW Beetle. Beetle slams in and takes out that Viper instead of going for Route Master Bus. Well, look like Mopars got devastated, and that was the final car of the round. We just checked the results and something amazing happened. All Team Mopar got out, and now they get a skull. So now, uh, Withering Wagons still have free the K, well, City Cruisers still have free. The trucks now go to third place with two. The OCs go to, uh, fourth place. The Coffee Cruisers only have one. Rally Rammers only have one. Your Exotics only have one. So, yeah, that's it, so... Bye-bye.